Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'll be making this video here and uh, attempt to paint my brake calipers on my skyline. Currently they're original color, like the way they came. And I uh, bought, this, uh, bought this kit on Amazon and I'm gonna paint them yellow. I'll uh, put a link in my description uh, for the item that I bought, all this stuff, what it comes with. There's different colors, you can choose from all the colors you can think of. And it comes with uh, some masking tape, wax, grease remover, some gloves, brush, and a microfiber towel. Okay guys, so get your car up on the on a jack. Uh, put a jack stand for safety, or if you don't have one, just use a spare wheel like this. Put it under there just in case things fall. And then next I'm gonna take this caliper, uh, spray it with some gr uh, degreaser or some kind of good cleaner. Uh, cover this uh, caliper like this. And then I'll take a rag and try to clean it off as much as I can. And if your brake caliper has a bunch of grease buildup or dirt or brake dust, uh, get the brush and try to scrape off as much as you can. That's gonna help too. Now I'm gonna take this uh, bottle, wax degreaser, spray it on there. You can spray it on the rag and then wipe it off or spray it directly. I'll just do this for now. Uh, this is super important. Don't skip this step because the paint is not gonna stick to it if you don't use this thing, okay? Now you can take one of these and really make sure it's clean. No wax, no grease, no no dust, nothing. So I'm actually changing my brake pads at the same time. So I uh, took off my caliper, hang it up, something like this. And uh, cover the back areas, make sure you don't spray anything else. Uh, if you want to do a nice job, don't rush through it. Take your time and do it right. And of course, if you have your brake pads on, make sure you cover them with paper towel or some kind of rag. Make sure you do not spray paint on the brake pads or the rotors because that's going to be bad. If you never painted before, be careful. Uh, do small little bursts of spray. Uh, if it looks wet, stop spraying there and let it dry. So you want to do like light coats. It's better to do a few light coats than just a big fat layer because it's gonna drip. If you see like a wet drops forming, you gotta really, you're doing too much, so just uh, take it easy. Don't rush, go slow. And uh, let it dry, maybe uh, 10, 20 minutes between each coat. And uh, for the back, I'm not taking the whole caliper off. I'm just um, masking it all around, putting some rags, some bags, and uh, just spraying it like this. Yeah, I let it sit for overnight and now I'm going to spray with some clear coat like this. You can uh, do a couple layers too, a couple coats. And that's all, I think I finished. I put three coats of clear coat on it, uh, let it dry real good so no dust falls on it when you put the wheels back on. And now I think I'm gonna let it sit for maybe a day to make sure it dries really good. And that's all. Here's the front. I'll show you the back. And that's the back. If you wanna do a good job, like I said, don't rush through it, take your time. Make sure you do it right. Okay, clean job.